Hey gang, Mocha Boy here. So uh, this is the add-on material to, to the presentation that I um, did earlier. And I apologize that, that that went a lot longer than I wanted it to, but uh, I mean, there's a lot of information to cover, so what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna cover two things in this video, and then I'm gonna do successive videos with different army compositions. But I just wanted you to see uh, some of the thought process behind what, uh, what started some of these raids. This is my attack log for the last few days. And uh, this was using the army composition that I, um, I forget it was like the second or third army composition. I, you can see the numbers here, uh, 64, 64 barbarians, uh, 84 archers, four giants, four wizards, eight black archers, and in some cases some heels. Uh, what's not on here were a couple of jumbo raids that I was able to do. Uh, it managed to, to find a couple of 900k raids, which was just absolutely insane. But um, anyway, for, for these raids, I was prioritizing goal, and for the most part, I was able to, I was, I was able to crack uh, a lot of those bases. Uh, in some cases, I was just going after Dark Elixir, uh, but um, yeah, the last couple raids were really interesting, and I just wanted to show, I just wanted to show you some of the thought process behind it. So, Dominico, let's go look at this base. I think this might have been an abandoned base, but I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. So this was an under underdeveloped uh, Town Hall ten. And uh, this person had put a trap right, right about there. Can't really see it from this view. Um, and you know there were a lot of different ways to attack this base, but the collectors were full, so I mean it wasn't you know this, this wasn't a difficult base to crack. Uh, unfortunately, there there were exactly two Teslas waiting for me, you know right here, and uh, I was able to take out one of them, but I couldn't get through all of them in time, and uh, and that, that was game over. So let's take a look at that replay. <clears throat> this was a lucky find. I mean, I think it was maybe 600k of uh, lootable resources, uh, but I, you know, just couldn't get all, get to all of them. So let's take a look. So first thing I'm seeing, yeah, you, you drop your barbarian, test for traps. It's pretty obvious something was going to be waiting there. Uh, next thing I do is I go in and I. Start luring out the barbarian, uh, the barbarian king. The um, clan castle doesn't have anything in it, so that's not an issue. But I do start pulling that out because I, I want to make sure that this doesn't distract uh, a lot of the ground troops later on. And this is a big building; it takes a long time to take down, so you want to get started on that early. And I thought I had taken out all of the uh, the, the buildings, but I didn't, and it, di it ended up distracting a few of the troops. <clears throat> With the trash buildings down, uh, I can start punching into the core of the base, but I hadn't taken out enough of the outside buildings and the, a few troops got distracted. So I drop a couple barbarians and, and archers off in the corner. Uh, wall breakers have a clean shot into the core. Don't make it because I didn't have enough troops in there. Really all I'm doing right now is just trying to distract the defenses so that I can go after the collectors. I'm not actually trying to core this base. I knew I wasn't going to make it in. Not against the Town Hall 10 defenses in, in, in this army composition, but so just as that was starting to happen, I started my attack on the inside of the base. Uh, dropped heal right away. Was able to drop uh, a couple of troops in there, and you know, unfortunately, I had nine defenses pounding on me. And that's the way these traps are designed. Uh, the, these are defeatable, but you have to take out the defenses before you drop troops in there. Um, I did this a little bit out of order in that I should have taken out this uh, this mortar on the outside. Uh, before dropping the troops in the middle, but uh, you know I was running out of time and I had to do something. So uh, all in all, this was a you know this was a successful raid. I, I got about 500k worth of resources, and uh, you know it was a good time. And you know if I had just a little bit more firepower, I probably could have leveled this base because the uh, the um, uh, defenses were really low. So let's so that was pretty good. And the next one I wanted to show you. And just in case you think that these Barch armies can't do uh, Dark Elixir raids, I went up against a, a pretty tough base that thought he was clever. Wait a second. You know, that, that's the way I play. I look for these bases where they try to trap you, and you know, they're like great little problem solving uh, problems. So um, this base, it was about a thousand uh, Dark Elixir that was, that was up for grabs. So let's take a look at his base really quick. And um, this is uh, this is a vault style base. And all you need are six wall breakers uh, that uh, that can take out these 
these four walls, or these three walls, and, and you're in the core. Uh, the dark elixir was right there, and uh, no, there were actual purposeful openings uh, in the base, and obviously those were all traps. So the, the very first thing you have to do is to sacrifice the troop to spring those traps. But um, let's watch let's watch how this one went for you. And again, this was I was prioritizing dark elixir for this. My barbarian king's on his way to uh, seven. I'm I'm not going to stop until he gets to ten, and then uh, you know I can switch my focus to something else. But uh, let's see. So first thing I need to do is uh, just aggro, aggro the Barbarian King. Uh, yeah, so that opening had a spring trap in it. No big deal. I'm going to start my attack from the bottom. And level 5 Barbarian King, about 6 or 7 Barbarians and uh, maybe 7 or 8 archers. They're all level 5. I dropped in a wizard just to speed up the process. And I go to town with uh, clearing, out the, um, clearing out the trash buildings. That level six or level five mortar is definitely going to be a problem, so I don't drop a lot of troops until I know that a lot of the trash trash buildings are down, because I need a clear shot. I need a clear path all the way to that mortar before I, I start dropping any serious levels of troops down. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that you can make, is just start spam, spamming troops. You know, they'll get locked up on a building, and that mortar will just absolutely decimate them. So the wall breakers are on their way in, and somehow, I don't know how, oh, they're not. But there were two right behind them, and they didn't make it either. No big deal. So the wizards made it into the first uh, the first layer of defenses, took out that mortar, and now it's just a free-for-all because the other mortars are just too far away to really be effectual. So drop a heal just to keep uh, just to keep those troops down, uh, just to keep the, the troops in that core alive, and then I just start pouring in. And uh, yeah, notice how. They do follow up the track, but then they retarget uh, back into the center. And uh, these two level two Teslas are definitely a problem, but with that many barbarians, it's not that big of a deal. Especially once the archers get involved, forget it, it's game over. Then bang, you're in, you're in the core. Now this was with uh, intentional openings. You could have just as easily cored this base without them. You know, just uh, just drop your troops in there. But obviously, prioritize taking down those squash defenses uh, quickly, uh, or as quickly as possible, and then just go to your target. You know, yes, I probably could have leveled this base with a trophy army, but you know, these types of bases are actually kind of rare. And uh, this was a pretty good opportunity to show what a very cheap army could do. And that, that army is only about uh, 40 or 50k, and I was able to pull in uh, uh, you know, almost a 1k DE there. So, And let's take a look at one more raid. Um, give me a second. Uh, one should be a good one. Let's see if I can remember what I did for this base. Oh yeah, this was this was a town hall eight with really really under leveled uh, um, defenses. So I was able to core pour this base pretty easily. And you know he made the mistake of dropping all of his resources uh, towards the bottom. And you, anytime you do that, that, that creates your 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 attack path or that selects your attack path for you. Again, this person was probably inactive, so it doesn't even really matter. But uh, I just want to show you what this. What this um, army can do. So I was able to one star them. So yeah, get the uh, get the barbarian king down. Start my attack. There's only two collectors up on the top, so I didn't go too heavy with my deployment up top. Uh, drop a giant down to uh, to get the attention of the uh, defenses, and then I just start unloading. Everything. Tesla pops out in the bottom southwest. Drop a giant really quickly uh, to start pulling to start pulling aggro, and then uh, take care of him right away because Teslas will ruin a raid uh, really quickly. In the bottom right hand corner, again, uh, go for that outside mortar. Really bad base design. Um, you know, mortars out on the edge like that are just uh, sitting ducks. So you can pull the giant with some archers, and you're good to go. And then yeah, at this point, it's just all about cleaning up. Uh, the, the defenses were low enough that uh, you know they were susceptible to a mass attack, so I was able to pump. I was able to target pretty much every single one of the collectors, and uh, and take this base out. And this, yeah, this got me about 500k, 500k in resources. This was a nice base. And then after this, it's uh, yeah, just going in and cleaning up. I had some extra wall breakers left over. Uh, 
you know, I deployed my, my, my wizards to see if um, I could go in and get that last 50, you know, or 100K worth of resources. It wasn't really worth it, but I figured, you know, no big deal. Let me just see how far they can go. And with just a single appeal, I mean, these guys were punching, were able to punch into the core of the base and uh, do some pretty serious damage. So yeah, that was that one. And uh, I'm going to be switching over to a trophy army in the next set of uh, in the next set of videos. This was just this is my standard army that I use to go uh, that I used to go farming. It's only like five minutes more than you know just an all bark uh, an all archer and barch army, but. Uh, you know, the wizards, the, the extra wizards in there give you a lot of firepower, and they actually speed up the process of pulling the base. So uh, definitely don't overlook them. And, you know, if you have your, your, your wizards at level 4, get them to level 5 as soon as possible. These things just absolutely wreck bases. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to... I have one more uh, army cooked up before I switch over to my trophy army, and then we'll do a couple of videos where I can just go wreck some bases for, for fun. All right, take care.